Good morning, everyone. Welcome to these series of reflections for the Fridays of Lent. I look forward to joining you every Friday as we together share on different stations of the cross. My name is Father Hugh O'Connor from the Archdiocese of Cape Town, and currently I'm working in Pretoria as the Secretary General of the Catholic Bishops' Conference. The response in our psalm today is, a humbled and contrite heart, you will not spurn, O Lord. What does it mean to have a humble and contrite heart? Humility does not mean allowing myself to be ground into the, into the floor like a doormat, saying, I don't matter. Humility should rather be seen as having a true appreciation of my life, my relation to God, and my relation to other people as well. In other words, I can look and speak honestly about who I am and where I find myself in life. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, the author of the book Death and Dying, outlines five stages of grief, of coming to terms with the harsh reality that we sometimes find in our lives, the reality of the cross. Her first stage is denial. It cannot be true. It's not true. It's not me. Her second stage is anger. Why me, Lord? What have I done wrong? What have others done to me? Then we move, she says, into a situation of bargaining. Lord, if I go to Mass more, if I am, forgive people, if I am a better person, then you will take away this difficulty, this suffering, this cross from me. And when that doesn't happen, when I reach the end of my road of bargaining, there is that sense of depression. It's true, but I can't accept it. Elizabeth Cooper Ross says that in these stages of grief, we are moving towards that final stage of acceptance. Yes, this is my reality now. I accept it and I work with it. In other words, I am able to embrace the cross, the burden, the suffering that I find in my life. I am able to be honest and true. In other words, to be humble. The cross was now Jesus' reality. He embraced it. He accepted it. But before this, he had to wrestle with it. We know in the Garden of Gethsemane, he fell on his face and he prayed, Father, let this cup pass me by, but not as I will, but as you will. So what is it today in my life that I know that maybe I am denying, or maybe I am angry about? Maybe I know that I'm not accepting this reality, that I'm trying to bargain with others or with God, with myself. So let my challenge today be to have a look and to admit, this is my cross, this is my burden, this is my struggle. This is what I have to begin to embrace. This is what I have to carry. And I do this in the firm faith and belief that I can trust the Lord, that He will help me. That the Lord will help me when I recognize that I need His help.